Hey everybody, Tony here with another Macar Reviews and I just want to give a quick review of this awesome toy I just got. It's not really a toy, but it's a charger. It is the Electron V-Box 48 amp EV charging station. And of course you can see very sleek look and it hooks up just like you would your typical level two. You have your little three prong or four prong. I think that was a four prong household uh, 240 plug in there. So I just had this box put in, I had this installed, and then this came with it. And then that's actually the holder for the charger, which I'll show you real quick. To unhook it, I usually just hit this and then it'll cut off the power real quick and then you can unhook it. So it was given 46 amps. And now it's telling you that it's not putting any power out and then you can just hook it up there. Looks nice and neat. And then what's great about this is this one comes with a 20 foot charging cable. So, my garage is a hot mess right now, but when I'm able to put my car in the garage, I have a Pacifica plug-in hybrid, so I can actually either plug the car in here in the garage and charge, or when the van's out front, I can plug that in there because this really thick cord here, when I close the garage, it doesn't cut off the power or anything like that. It's not even showing any wear on the cord whatsoever. So just a really, really not cheaply made material there. But one thing I like about this, and I'll show you by plugging this back in, how it works, just like your typical 240, or your typical, uh, what's it, J1772, just plug it in there, and it'll show you. There's my indicator there for the car. And then as it starts to feed it power, you'll see that number go up in terms of the amperage that it's getting. And what's really cool is it shows you how long it's been charging there. And then it shows you how many kilowatt hours are being used there. And then this shows you what it's rated for, the voltage you're getting, and then the actual tem operating temperature of the charger itself. So I think it's supposed to operate between 20 degrees and 120 is a safe temperature or something like that. And then that's a hard reset there. And I really just like the overall I guess aesthetics of it, it looks really neat. I love the lighting. And then I'll show you here in the booklet two of the most important things about it. So, sorry, that lighting is awful. So solid blue means it's disconnected, which we saw that. The rolling blue means that it is connected. The rolling green means it's actually charging. And then solid green means it's done charging. And of course, if you have an issue, it'll be solid red for whatever that may be. But I really just like how specific this is it shows me how many amps i'm getting how long it's been charging the usage and that really helps me keep track of if you want to how much is actually coming from the box to the actual car and then it keeps up with how much energy you're using on your actual electric bill and then if you don't want to feed full power to it you can actually use the dial on the back of the box and you can set it to 48 amps like that's what I have it at to charge my car but like my Pacifica hybrid I can set that at a one because it's only getting about 23 and a half 24 amps to that whenever it's charging so obviously these things are pretty smart the cars and the chargers themselves so it's not going to overfeed your car but if you want to limit the power you can and then here's the box that it came in here pretty nice that shows you what's in it, specifications. Then you can contact Electron there. But really, I've been using this for almost about a month, but just a really, really awesome product here. And this actually replaced, as you can see, the mess I have here. So I had my charger, my mobile charger from Ford. I just hooked up the 240 there. And then I had a 110 for the Chrysler and that's the charger there. And you can actually hook this up outside if you want to, but the outside of my house is brick so I couldn't put it in there easily. So I just decided to mount on the wall and my electricians did it in about 45 minutes. They just had to go get all the parts and everything, but everything shows what's included. Of course you get the box, all of this here, but then the actual plug and the breaker and all that I had to get myself. But all in all, I'm going to leave a link below to the charger in the description. Like I said, definitely recommend if you want something that's affordable, 
as opposed to getting one straight from the factory and you can use with every type of EV that has the J1772. But that's pretty much it on this product there. I want to thank Lectron for allowing me to use this and install it, show you all how it works. I just love that car. But anyways, I'll catch you all in the next review. Thanks.